Good morning guys and welcome to day three of my Iceland trip. If you've not seen days one and two yet, be sure to check them out before you come to this video. Hello everybody, my face is looking really red today. I think um, I need to moisturize for sure, which is great because today I'm going to the Blue Lagoon. This is the day I've been most excited about, so really can't wait. Hold on, I'm gonna move somewhere else. I don't know why I always start my videos and there it never works out. But yeah, I'm going to the Blue Lagoon today. Couldn't be more excited. I've already got my swimming costume on under my outfit. That's how ready to go I am. But yeah, can't wait. Gonna have a lovely relaxing time. Um, I've already had breakfast and everything got ready. Kind of forgot to film this morning, I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna head out now from my hotel and go to bus stop three, which is where um, the sort of mini bus is gonna pick me up and take me to the Blue Lagoon, which I have pre-booked. So yeah, let's go. Okay, so I am back from the Blue Lagoon, obviously. I've showered and I am as snug as a bug in a rug. Um, but I just wanted to give a little bit of background and lead into the clips that I took when I was at the Blue Lagoon. So they will come in a minute, I promise. Um, but obviously I left and went to my assigned bus stop and I was told that the bus to pick me up could come any time between half eight and nine. So to get there at half eight. Um, but my bus ended up coming more around nine o'clock, which was fine. But what I did was I thought, well, it's the only time I'm really going to be outside today, like in my clothes, not like in a swimming costume. So I was like, you know, I don't need to wear all my thick layers. But because there's a chance you'll be waiting half an hour, I was getting pretty cold. So just wanted to let you guys know, like definitely worth um you know, wearing your thick layers and just dealing with it at the other end um, if you are going to be waiting at the bus stop. But got the bus to the bus terminal, we then all had to switch onto a different coach and then headed there, which was absolutely fine. Um, the Blue Lagoon itself was absolutely incredible. I had heard like, oh, it's overhyped and, you know, there are better ones out there that the tourists don't know about that kind of thing. So I did go into it being like, am I really going to enjoy this? But it was worth every penny to me. It really was. The place itself is just so beautiful and I got there for sunrise so I was there when the sun was rising as well. It just, it fills you with so much tranquility and obviously it's minus 11 today so it felt extra nice with your head above the water and your body just in basically boiling hot water, lava water. It was amazing. I could be there all day. I, I would go back again in a heartbeat, especially if I was with another person and there was like a drinks bar and stuff like that. If I, so if I was there with someone else, I could have been there way longer. Um, I got there at 10 and my bus pickup again was at 12.15. That worked out quite well for me as someone on my own because I was in there for an hour. I then got out, it took me ages to get ready again. You know, when you're trying to get like jeans on when you're kind of wet, it's just, oh, it's not a good experience. And then um, I just went to the cafe, um, which you'll see in the clips. And um, I had a little look around the gift shop as well. And by that point it was time to go and get my bus. So worked out really well for me. So if you're going on your own, I definitely recommend those kind of timings. If you're with someone else, you might want to spend a bit longer there. Or if you're going to the restaurant rather than the cafe, you might want to be there for a bit longer as well. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. If you want more information about the actual Blue Lagoon, let me know in the comments and I'll answer that for you. But I don't want to fill the whole video up just with me sitting here talking. So yeah, enjoy the clips. I'm in the Blue Lagoon. I'm absolutely bricking it about dropping my phone in the water. So I'm gonna do um, a little bit of filming and then I'm gonna put you guys away and just enjoy it. But this is amazing. We're like the first group here. So there's like no one in this space, but it is so hot. But like, it's crazy that this water is just heated by the earth. It's so cool. You can see how foggy it is, go the other way as well. 
all these like geysers and steam things coming out. It's so cool. Right, I'm gonna try and take, take some pictures. So under there, as I said, hold on. Okay. I'm so scared of dropping you guys in the water. Okay, over there I think is where you get your face mask. Let's go into the unknown. <laughs> Sometimes the floor gets really uneven, and if I slip, you guys are gone. <laughs> no more vlogs, so a little nervous. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish filming here, and then put you guys away, so I'm not living in here. <laughs> like the ground is so uneven right now. Oh, it's got shallower. So over there is the bar, so you can get a drink. And then you have a wristband that you get given, um, and that like pays for stuff. <laughs> so that is where we came in over there, and where it got changed. That's where I've been taking pictures and <laughs> video of myself. So let's go for a little walk around. You have to be careful because the floor is very uneven. <laughs> you can hopefully see the sunrise here though, which should be pretty cool. It's amazing, I can't tell you how hot it is, like in the nicest way. <laughs> it's not burning or anything, but I think it's minus 11, so pretty cold if you are not in the water. I'm not wearing my glasses either because they would just steam up, so I'm kind of seeing where I'm going. Camera. And apparently around here is where you can do a face mask. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to tell, so I don't want to get my face wet. I know, like, I'm being totally boring, but anyway, this is all just heated from the earth. I can hear a waterfall. Ooh, look. First of all, I don't have my glasses, but it is even foggier in person. Probably be easier once it lights up a bit. The water never goes above like four for eight or something, so I'm never gonna get like submerged. I am getting deeper into the fog though. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm just gonna bump into something. Okay, I think that's the end there. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna put you guys away now. Okay, so I'm finished at the Blue Lagoon and I've got about 20 minutes before my bus gets here, so just picking up some lunch. I've got some kind of undisclosed fruit juice <laughs> and then I got two cookies as well so I'm just gonna sit here and wait for the bus to come get me. And now I'm back. I hope those videos captured how beautiful the Blue Lagoon was. You could barely see anything because of all the smoke and steam and stuff but it was so beautiful and the fact that I was basically swimming in like lava water it was like I couldn't get my head around it. It was so beautiful and um the fact that now I'm back and I still feel so warm and cozy from it. I had a shower, I had a shower when I was there afterwards, like they give you shampoo and conditioner and everything. Um, but my hair it felt like it had loads of clay in it is kind of the best way to describe it, which it probably did, it's a geothermal pool. Um, so when I got back I just wanted to have another shower and just double wash my hair and it feels a lot better now. So that's just something to note, I guess. Um, maybe if you're going to get your hair wet in the Blue Lagoon, don't go out to a fancy restaurant immediately after, I don't know. <laughs> Depends, um, but I was pretty much the only one with my hair down because, fun fact, my bobbles and hair clips fell out of my pocket, so I didn't have them when I was there, but it's fine, it really doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, that's my Blue Lagoon experience over with. I'm now back in the hotel. I'm probably actually just gonna have a little bit of a nap before dinner because it really relaxes you and just makes you feel so like, ugh. Like I fell asleep on the coach back and that's not like me at all. If I'm like in public, I'm normally quite 
like aware but no I completely nodded off <laughs> I did want to though tell you the story of my journey there because in the clip before the Blue Lagoon clips I was like the journey was smooth it was fine and it was but there was some <laughs> it was I don't even know how to describe it so I was on the coach going to the Blue Lagoon it takes about 45 minutes so it's not too far but it's not like a quick little jaunt right so there were two American women behind me. Why I said they're American, I don't know, it's not important. But they were two friends and one of the women had such a bad attitude. She was like berating her friend about how that friend didn't spend enough money on the holiday. I was like, okay, well you, you put in the cash then. But the fact that the woman had bought like the basic Blue Lagoon package, like the one I had, really wasn't pleasing her. She felt like she should have um splurged and got the deluxe package for them she felt that they didn't they shouldn't have been put on a coach they should have got a private transfer there and she was really annoyed with her friend for all this going on and the fact that the coach um like we all got on the coach like 10 minutes before it was supposed to leave so it just sat there for a little while and she was not happy with that she felt that because they were on the coach it should just go and i was just sitting there like oh my god i was kind of loving it but at the same time i felt so bad for that friend like iceland is not a cheap holiday like you can do it as cheap as possible, it's still gonna be more expensive than your average holiday. And the Blue Lagoon is also not a cheap excursion at all. It's a total rip off. I think it's worth it, but it's a total rip off. You can definitely find cheaper ones, I'm sure. Um, and the fact this woman was just being so ungrateful about it, I couldn't get over it. So those were the women like immediately behind me on the coach. So I was like, okay, this is weird. And then there was a couple, a man and a woman immediately in front of me on the coach. And I don't know, they were acting a little bit weird. And before we left, the guy kept like going on and off the coach, but I couldn't really figure out why. Anyway, we'd been driving about 15 minutes and his girlfriend, I'll just, I, I don't want to assume, but I will, um, goes like hurries and goes and speaks to the bus driver. And she asks for like a plastic bag. So he shows her like the box, like up on the top bit. And she right, uh, what's the word? She like breaks through it all and she finds like first aid kit and stuff like that. And he's like, if you can't find one, I'll just stop. Um, anyway, she pulls out a plastic bag, she goes over, opens it up and her boyfriend just, <laughs> I can't tell you how close the timing was. I was thinking, oh my God, if she didn't get that bag to him in time, I don't know what was gonna happen. <laughs> but he just vomits like so much. Like, oh my God. So bless the bus driver. He was being really nice about it. He was like, if you can't find a bag, I'll pull over. Like, don't worry about it. You know, we'll make sure he's okay. We even, um, he pulled the bus over later on as well to check that he was all right and stuff. So he was very nice. But that poor guy just vomiting. He felt a lot better after he'd thrown up. I will tell you that. He was like chatting away and stuff. So he was fine. I think he just needed to get out of the system. Maybe he'd had a big night before. I don't know. But I cannot handle vomit. I just, I really can't. So I'm hearing this and I'm like, <laughs> like, no, no. Because the worst thing is if you're throwing up, his girlfriend was obviously kind of freaking out, didn't really know what to do or how to help him. The last thing they need is someone behind them going like, <laughs> so I was like, taking deep breaths I was like but thank god it didn't smell i think someone on the coach had peppermint tea so i was smelling that so that was kind of keeping me okay but i was like oh my god if i smell this i'm gonna go <laughs> then the whole coach will go so yeah it was um quite the experience so we had to sit for half an hour with a bag of sick on the bus uh but poor guy bless him but once we got off the bus he seemed okay again like, like i say i think he just needed to get it out of system but Poor guy, but yeah, it was uh, it was quite the journey there. The journey back was certainly a little bit more relaxing. <laughs> anyway, um, so now I'm back. I didn't have anything planned for the rest of the day. As I say, I feel quite sleepy, so I think I'm just gonna have a little nap, a little snooze, and I'll pick up with you in a little bit. Hey gang, hope I didn't jump scare you in the middle of this video. This sounds from the past, just technically yesterday slash last week's video that I'm currently in. Um, but I did a bit of a haul, went on a bit of a shop. I'm kind of freaking out about how much money I spent because everything in Iceland is so expensive, but relax, it is what it is. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to show you what I got. I figured tomorrow slash next week slash this video you're currently watching um, might not be as long as some of the others because my only activity is the Blue Lagoon tomorrow. So I figured this would be a good time to do a haul and show you what I got. So the first thing I got is for my brother and it is a can opener. 
um, but it's also got the, it's got Iceland on it and it's got the Icelandic flag and it's a keychain as well. So just thought that was fun. I'm not doing like big proper gifts for people, just silly little things, bits and bobs. I got a postcard, kind of artistic Reykjavik postcard. It represents different things that Icelandic people are proud of about Reykjavik, apparently, according to the salesperson. It's just a postcard, so I'll write that a little bit later on. Um, and I won't be able to send that till I get home, but that's okay. That was for my granny, I can't remember if I said that. And then for my mum, I got this tea towel, which is in the exact same pattern as the postcard. Again, I just thought it was really nice. And for my dad, this one I thought was quite funny, hold on. So <laughs> it is a little Viking hat, if you can see, and it goes like that. So what you do is you put this around your beer can, like your beer bottle around the top of it. And then this ends up sitting on like the sipping bit. And then you can do that back and sip and it feels like, um, you know, you've got like a Viking tankard to drink or something like that. It just made me laugh. So I was like, you know what, I'll get that for my dad. Um, and then for me, I got an oversized t-shirt for the summer. I'm trying to, I don't like any of my t-shirts, but I don't like many of my t-shirts that I've got. So I'm slowly redoing my t-shirt collection. So I got this one. I just got this from a tourist shop and it says Iceland and it's got a Viking on it and it's plain on the, black, on the back and just gray. So big fan of that. I want all my t-shirts to have like a sort of story to them so I can say I got that one in Iceland, you know? And then I also got this travel mug thing and it says full-time adventurer Icelandic wilderness on it. And I've been looking for something to drink out of while I'm working from home um, because I do have a mug but I kind of like to keep that separate as like for tea, whereas I want something I could just drink water or juice out of. So I thought this would be a good one to have. So yeah, that's my haul. Love it a lot. I'm gonna have to look at my bank account and see how much money I've spent. Yeah, that's the problem with things being in krona. Like it literally means nothing to me. Like you could say 6,000 krona. I'm like, all right, is that a thousand pounds or is that 20p? Like I've got no clue. So panicking a little but love my stuff <laughs> hey gang i've got some bad news i forgot to film my dinner i'm so sorry <laughs> i got it from metro and i got it because it looked exactly like the mcdonald's menu and i was like i wonder because if you don't know iceland doesn't have mcdonald's i think it's one of the only countries in the world that doesn't have mcdonald's so i got their big mac and chips and like a couple of drinks as well the big mac was a Big Mac. <coughs> Sorry, like a hundred percent. It tasted exactly like a Big Mac, apart from the pickles were thicker. That was literally the only difference. It was so good. Chips weren't as salty, but definitely still tasted like McDonald's chips. So definitely recommend ordering from Metro if you're craving a McDonald's here. All right, guys, I think I'm going to call it a night here now that I've had my dinner, because I'm not really going to do much more other than watch some TV and edit this video. I have been sitting having a bit of an existential crisis this afternoon, thinking like, oh, I'm just sitting in my hotel room each night. I should go out, do more things. But you know what? In my itinerary, I'm doing everything I want to do here. And I do so much, like cram so much in the morning and early afternoon that like, I feel like I deserve to just sit and chill out in a hotel room. I don't know. I told my mum earlier and I was like, I don't know if I'm really taking advantage of everything, but I do have a jam packed itinerary. I've just chosen to have late afternoons and evenings to come and sit and edit these and just get takeaway food. I don't know. Maybe I'll be judged for that, but I still feel like I'm getting a lot done. I don't know if this is making any sense, but tomorrow is a fun day. So I am doing a golden circle tour, which is very exciting. So I'll be getting a coach and going in a tour group for pretty much the whole day. It's like six and a half hours. And we'll be going to, got it here, Thingvellir National Park, which is where the tectonic plates meet of Eurasia and North America. So that's really cool because the tectonic plates are always crashing together and stuff. There's lots of valleys and gorges and mountains and things like that. Then we're going to go see some geysers, which is so exciting. I've always wanted to see them in real life. And then we're going to go see a waterfall after that. So lots of content, I think, coming up tomorrow. So very, very excited about that. But yeah. We'll leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. We're halfway through the series now. Be sure to subscribe to see future videos and I'll see you next time. Bye.